Okay, so in our next example, so ayan, kung makikita nyo, medyo mahaba ng konti yung uh, papel natin. Kasi, uh, we'll be having dito level. So, ano mga meron dito? So, in our last algorithm, so basically, this will be multi-level feedback queue. Okay, so we'll be having different levels dito. Okay? So, ano bang meron dito sa mga level na to? So, yung mga level na to, so ito yung pagdadaanan ng mga process uh, hanggang maubos natin yung burst time. So, basically, uh, we, tr uh, we could try to assume that uh, drawing muna natin dito. Okay? So, yung una natin, so medyo habaan natin ng konti. Okay? So, level 1, so kung makikita nyo dito, merong 2. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng 2 na yan? So, this will be quantum 2. Okay? So, mag-around drawing tayo. Okay, so, and then, this will be level 3. So, ayan. So, ibig sabihin, quantum 3. And the next one, so, ayan. So, we'll be having uh, SJF. Dito daw sa dulo. Okay? So, now, ano ba meron dito? Okay, so, yung first level na to, so, dito muna dadaan yung process. Okay? So, automatically, pag duman siya sa level na to, so, ilan yung quantum na naka-sign, so, yun yung burst time na mauubos. Okay? Or consume Next one, so, pagdaan niya dito, and may natira pa sa kanyang burst time, pupunta yan sa next level. And then, uubusin niya ulit yung burst time na naka-assign dito through quantum. And then, kung may matira pa siyang burst time, dadaan tayo ng level 3. So, ano ba yung kailangan natin tandaan sa algorithm na to? So, basically, this algorithm, ang uh, main idea nito is, hindi ka pwedeng mumaba ng level hanggang meron kang pinaprocess dun sa taas. Okay? Hanggat meron kang pinaprocess dun sa taas ng level. So, now, uh, simulan na natin para malaman natin. Okay? So, para ka lang magra-round robin. Check natin. Okay, so in this case, unang process na darating, so lahat yan mag-start ng time zero. Okay, so ano ba palang meron dito sa last na level? So basically, yung last na level, nakasign din is yung algorithm na. Okay? So again, kailangan mo ulang malaman ano ba yung nature ng algorithm na nakasign dito kasi yun yung, yung implement mo sa kanya mamaya once na merong may makababa dyan sa level 3. Okay? So pag may nakababa sa level 3, and then, uh, two or more processes sila, so implement mo yung criteria ng ginagamit ng algorithm na yan. And then also, kung merong makababa dito, and then hindi pa tapos mag-arrive lahat ng processes, kailangan mo malaman ngayon, ano ba yung algorithm na yan? Preemptive ba or non-preemptive? Kasi kung habang may pinaprocess ka dito, and preemptive type yung algorithm na yan, so may dumating na process in between, so kailangan mo mag-stop, so bawasan mo kung ilang yung burst time na nabawas and balik ka ulit sa level 1 kung may bagong dating. Okay? So, that will be the uh, process nitong algorithm na to. So, check na natin. Okay? So, at time 0, ang una lang na dumating ay si P4. So, yung lalagay ko dito is guide ko lang yan. Okay? Para kung sino yung process na uh, dumating. Kung parang sa round robin natin, ito yung uh, guide natin sa taas din na ginagamit. Okay? So, at time 0, dumating si P4. So, dahil siya lang naman yung laban, ipoprocess na natin to Okay? So, sabi dito, 2 quantum. So, kailangan i-consume once na dumaan yung process dito. So, basically, pagdaan ni P4 dito, so, magkukonsume siya ng dalawang burst time. So, magiging 5 na lang to And this will end the time 2. Now, ngayon si P4, so, slash out na natin dito kasi nakadaan na siya lagay na natin sa level 2. Now, pwede ka bang i-process si, level, si P4 dito sa second level? Okay, so pwede. Why? Kasi yung next na darating dito is time 3 pa. So basically, yung level 1 natin is walang magiging laman kasi time 2 naman nag-stop yun. Okay, so pwede tayo mag-process dito sa second level kasi wala namang bagong darating na process. So babalik ka lang sa level 1 once na merong bagong dumadating na process. Subukan na natin. Okay? So, start tayo ng time 2 kasi doon nag-stop yun na sa taas. Okay? Process natin si P4. So, si P4 habang pinaprocess natin, dumating na tong P1 tsaka P... Ah, dumating na yung P1 at time 3. Now, kung makikita natin dito, assign quantum sa kanya is 3. So, bawasin na natin. 
So this will be 2 na lang. Okay? This will end at time 5. Now, bakit hindi tayo tumigil ng time 3? Kasi same goes with round robin. Ganon din naman yung nangyayari. You need to consume all ng quantum mo kahit may dumanin in between. And then, tsaka lang mag-stop after. Now, in this case, dumaan na si P4 dito. May natira pa rin sa kanyang burst time. So, bababa siya dito sa level 3. Now, if a process ko ba siya sa level 3? Hindi. Bakit? Kasi may dumating yung time 3 at time 5. Okay? Yung time 3 at time 5 na yan, babalik tayo ngayon sa level 1. So, hindi mo pwedeng pagbalik ta rin yung pagsulat mo sa kanila. Kung sino yung unang nag-arrive, yun yung unang mong ilalagay. Una nag-arrive si P1. So, ayan. So, ipaprocess na natin siya. Or ilalagay muna natin siya sa guide rudder. And then, dumating si P2. So, ayan. Now, una natin ipaprocess si P1. Okay? Ayan. So, nag-stop tayo dito, time 5. So, nung tayo mag-start sa kanya. So, in this case, this will end at time 7. Kasi, again, 2 quantum to. So, in this case, Yung P1 natin, so ibaba na natin. So, ayan. Bawasin na natin yung nagamit niya. So, this will be 2 na lang. Okay. Ipaprocess ko ba si P1 sa baba? So, hindi. Kasi, again, meron pang process dun sa taas. So, in this case, time 7, wala pa namang dumarating. So, pwede kang process si P2. So, ayan. So, si P2, 2 quantums din. So, this will end at time 9. So, slash out na natin to Ito na si P2. So, i-minus ko yung nagamit niya. So, this will be 7. Now, pa-process ko na ba itong dalawang to So, again, hindi pa din. Bakit? Ayun. At time 8, dumating yung P3. So, ayan. Si P3. Okay. So, i-process na natin si P3. So, this will be P3. And then, this will end at time 11. So, this will be 2. Okay, so time 11, so na-process natin si P3. So, ayan na siya. Now, pwede ka na may process itong nasa baba. So, pwede na. Why? Kasi wala namang darating na process pa dito sa taas. na ibaba na natin lahat. Kung sino yung unang bumaba, yun yung unang mong ipaprocess ngayon. Unang bumaba dito is si P1. So, ayan. Siya yung ipaprocess natin. Okay, ipaprocess natin to hanggang time 13. Okay. So, bakit time 13 lang? Kasi as we can see here, yung burst time niya is dalawa na lang. So, hindi na siya capable for 3 quantums. Kaya hanggang uh, 2 burst time lang yung na-consume niya. So, this will be 0. Okay? So, dahil naubos na natin yung burst time ni P1 dito sa second level, no need to write dito sa baba. Okay? No need to write. Next one, ipaprocess ko na ba si P2 at P3? So, hindi pa. Bakit? Ayun, si P5 dumating. Okay? So, we have your P5. So, balik ulit tayo ng level 1. So, darating si P5. And then, start tayo ng time 13 kasi doon nag-stop yung kanina. Consume natin yung uh, kailangan i-consume na burst time dito. So, this will end at time 15. So, this will be 4. So, yan. Now, after natin ma-process si P5, so slash out na natin to, bababa na yan dito. Okay, so the good thing is, wala nang darating na process sa taas kasi dumating na, nag-arrive na lahat. So, dito na tayo sa level 2, magpo-focus, pababa. Okay, so next stop tayo dun is time 15. So, ayan. Next na bumaba, P2. Okay, so ayan si P2. And then, after that, Check natin yung allowable na burst time. So, kung kaya. So, ayan. 7 pa yung natitira sa kanya. I-consume na natin yung 3. So, this will be 4. So, this will end at time 18. At time 18, yung P2, bababa na yan dito. Ay na si P2. Okay. So, slash out na natin siya. Next one. So, dito pa rin tayo sa second level kasi merong active. So, hindi natin muna pwedeng i-process to. So, we'll be having uh, P3. Ayan. So, P3, dalawa na lang yung natitira sa kanya. So, this will be hanggang time 20. Okay. So, slash out na natin to. So, zero na din. Slash out na natin. Hindi na siya makakababa sa baba. Okay. Kasi ubos na yung burst time na dito pa lang. Next, 
we have P5. So P5 is 4. So automatically, consume natin yung burst time niya. So this will be time 23. Okay? So 1 na lang yan. Si P5 bababa na dito. Okay. Ay, so, nag-stop tayo sa second level ng time 23. So, naubos na natin lahat na nasa second level. Sino-sino yung nakababa dito? So, yan. So, gagawin lang natin dito, basically, is that dahil tatlo yung nagiintay dito, doon mo nagagamitin ngayon yung algo na inassign natin. Okay? So, yung algorithm na nakasign dyan is shortest job first. So, basically, ang criteria nito is burst time. We'll be looking for the lowest burst time. Kailangan mo implement ko ano yun nandito. So, ano ba? Nakalagay dyan is first come, first serve. You need to look for the earliest arrival time. Kung nakalagay naman dyan is priority or non-preempty priority, meron dito ang priority ng column, so you need to look for the higher priority. Okay? But in this case, ginamit natin ang shortest job first. So, among these three, pinakamababa yung burst time ni P5, so siya yung ipaprocess natin. Okay, kahit last yung nakababa, in-implement na natin yung assigned algorithm dito, kaya si P5 na napili natin. So, this will be 24, and then we have here 0. Slash out na natin to. Next, dalawa na lang yung natitira, isang 2, isang 4, so obviously, P4 na yan. Kasi mas mababa yung burst time niya, so this will be time 26. And then lastly, so we have here P2. And then 4, so this will end at time 30. Okay. Now, uh, bakit ang haba ng papel ko, ba? Kasi hindi pa to yung final answer natin. Okay? So as we can see here, diba, para siyang bungay-bungay. Pag trinayin natin niya i-compress, okay, basically, ma-fill out natin yung mga bungay na, na spots, so magiging isang buo yan. So that will be our final answer. Okay? So, ito yung pinaka-final answer na i-consider natin. So, kaya be careful in summarizing. Okay, minsan nakakaduling, but make sure to double-check. So, you have your P4. So, ayan, nag-end siya ng time 2. Next dito is P4. And then, you have your P1. And then, P2. P3. P1 again. You have P5, you have P2, P3, P5, you have P5, you have P4, and then lastly, you have here P2. Okay, so this will be our final answer. Lagay lang natin yung mga time nila. So this will be 5, 7, 9, 11. So we have here 13, 15, 18, 20, 23, 24, 26, and then we have here 30. Alright, so this will be our final gun chart. So make sure to double check yung mga uh, values ng gun chart. Okay? So we'll be computing for the CPU util. So ganun pa din yan. Alright, so we have 30 summation ito. So this will be 30 over 30. So times 100. So, this will be 100% utilization. Okay? So, now, i-adjust ko lang ng konti itong end time. So, dito ko na lang siya sulat para hindi tayo malito. Okay? So, dito ng konti. Okay, so, we'll need to look dito yung mga end time nila. So, this will be P2. So, this will be 30. And then, P4. So, this will be 26. P5, 24. P3 is 20. P1, 13. Ayan. So, kung makikita mo dito, ang daming occurrence sa mga process, kaya double check niyo yung paglalagay ng end time. Okay. So, turn around time natin. So, check natin. Okay. So, yung CPU utilization, hindi pala nakita. Medyo naputol. But again, yung sinulat ko dyan is we have 100% yung utilization. So, double check natin. So, medyo naputol. Hindi kasi dun sa camera. So, yan. 
So, 100% yung utilization na nakuha natin. So, same. You have 30 for the sum ng lahat ng burst time. Over 30 na last na value. Okay? So, ayan. Over 30 na last na value nung gun chart. And then, times 100. So, we'll be having 100%. Okay? So, medyo mahaba yung answer. Okay, so after getting the uh, end time, so we'll be having the turnaround time and then the waiting time. So yeah. Now, so end time minus arrival, so this will be uh, so we have here 10 25 and then so this will be 12 26 and then we have here well, okay. So for the uh, waiting time, so that will be turnaround minus burst time. So check natin. So this will be okay. So this will be six. Dun sa original la, so make sure. So this will be sixteen, and then this will be eight, nineteen. And then we have here 18. Okay. So now we'll be computing for the average turnaround time and average waiting time. Okay. So correction. So mali yung pagkakasubtra ko. So this will be 6 lang. Okay. So 12 minus 6. So nagkamali ako ng tingin. Okay, so that will be 6. Okay, so average turnaround time, so this will be 85 over 5. So this will be 17. Okay, and then for the average waiting time, so this will be 55 over 5. So this will be 11. Okay, so this is how we compute for the multi-level uh, feedback queue. Hi. So yeah.